At 98 years old, Walter Munk has been around for more rotations of the Earth than most. The Austrian-born scientist began his career at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at the dawn of World War II. When I show up to his seaside home in La Jolla for an interview, he tells me he's still busy working on new scientific papers. Yeah, I'm working on a problem that has been puzzling for a hundred years. But today I'm here to talk about Earth's rotation, a subject Monk has been an expert in since 1960 when he co-wrote a book called The Rotation of the Earth. It was not a bestseller. The academic text may not have made him much money, but Monk says he became fascinated by the Earth's rotation because it provides clues about so many other things happening on the planet. I think it, that the Earth is telling us a story that we, sh we should be able to interpret. Monk says one story told by Earth's rotation is the story of sea level rise. The speed of Earth's rotation is actually not fixed at 24 hours. It can change, depending on where Earth holds its mass. And when ice melts at the poles, mass gets redistributed. Water moves toward the equator when it melts, and that slows down Earth's rotation, kind of like how a ballerina's pirouette slows down when she extends her arms. So the Earth adjusts itself. And when the Earth adjusts to sea level rise, its spin rate gets slower. It may sound surprising, but it's true. Climate change is actually making days on Earth longer. But only slightly longer. It all adds up to about six millionths of a second each year. It doesn't bother you in your, in your daily life but it's a nice way to learn something. It turns out lots of things affect Earth's rotation, like waves crashing on shorelines and the ongoing mass redistribution caused by the end of the last ice age. Now, Monk knew to account for these factors, but when he tried to add everything up back in 2002, he noticed something strange. Earth didn't appear to be slowing down as much as it should, given all the sea level rise that had happened during the 20th century. Now, he knew that climate change was causing sea levels to rise, but that just wasn't showing up in current measurements of the Earth's rotation. Fourteen years ago, he published a paper about this problem, which became known as Monk's Enigma. Monk's paper could not have been written by anyone else but Monk. Harvard University geophysicist Jerry Mitrovica says Monk was issuing a challenge to the scientific community, a challenge he decided to take up. He didn't say, you're all wrong. He's saying, there are big problems here, right? And these need to be resolved. Recently, Mitrovica published a paper about resolving Monk's enigma. He and his colleagues say Monk's calculations were a bit off due to three highly technical limitations. First, Monk relied on estimates of 20th century sea level rise that have been revised in recent years. Sea levels did rise in the 20th century, but not as much as scientists once thought. Second, the Ice Age model Monk used also had some shortcomings. It too has been tweaked since Monk first put forward his enigma. And third, Mitrovica says Monk's original calculations didn't account for some complicated physics involving the Earth's core and mantle that also affect the Earth's rotation. With these three changes, Mitrovica says the numbers now do add up. Recent sea level rise has indeed slowed down the Earth's rotation. To resolve this enigma required a decade of work and progress in three very different parts of Earth science. Monk says he's glad to see scientists build on his work and prove that days are in fact getting measurably longer due to climate change. And I find it very rewarding and very satisfying that work like this, when you found some things did not add up, inspired people in subsequent years to do some additional work to, to try and understand it, and in some instances, to succeed. I mean, that's the way science should work. At 98, Monk is still trying to sort out other tough issues in oceanography. He says there are plenty of other problems scientists in his field have yet to solve. A thousand years ago when sea level was lower. David Wagner, KPBS News.